Hello and welcome guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Nokia Z Launcher. Um, this launcher uh, seems to come stock on most Nokia devices. As some of you may have heard, they're not doing very well on uh, the Windows side. Uh, so let's hope, um, hopefully they can bounce back with some new Android apps like this and uh, some cool handsets. Um, so first off, this launcher is not a typical launcher. It's not like um, a lot of things you see like Nova and um, uh, Pro Launcher, stuff like that. Uh, this is very much its own thing. Uh, it's very unique. Uh, so as you can see, there's not a lot of customization, uh, at least as, as much as you can see as regular launchers. Uh, for example, I don't think you can create folders and you can only get one page for widgets, which I'll explain in a second. Uh, as you can see, you got your time and the date um, on this side right here. You got a little uh, analog clock right here. And right below that is a list of your most commonly used apps since you installed the launcher. Uh, now since I installed the launcher, I guess these are my tops. Uh, Reddit Sync, YouTube, Hangouts, AdSense, and YouTube Studio. And uh, yeah, so here's another interesting thing about this little drawer here. Or not drawer, but little list here. You can draw little letters. So say I want to do something like uh, open my music player, which is called Shuttle. I would draw an S. And then it would give me all my apps with an S in it. Oh, they'll shut the shuttle, but I'm gonna keep going a little bit. H and U, and all of a sudden, boom! I well, nope, that is not a U. That is an M. U. Uh, okay, as you can see, this drawing handwriting thing isn't exactly perfect, but uh, it's not bad normally. Here we go. Uh, so first off, I got my shuttle music app. Below that, I have one of my contacts, and here is some searches I can do. So if I want to look up Shutterfly. Well, there we go. I got it opening up in Link Bubble, my default browser. There we go. Just get rid of that. Um, you can also do things like look up your emails, um, look up pretty much any app on your phone. Um, and this list, not only does it do that, but not only does it populate with apps, it also populates with, say, um, commonly contacted contacts, if that makes sense. For example, I have a friend I text a lot and she was the first thing that showed up on this list uh, with the initial apps that came with it. Um, I did had to hide, you can also hide things, which is what I had to do to her contacts, so her number isn't shown on this video. So I'm going to hide AZ screen recorder to show you guys. And if you do a quick right swipe, you can look over and see a list of all of your apps as most drawers or <laughs> most launchers have. Uh, this is just your normal alphabetical list. And if you want to add an app to this dock down here, all you got to do is hold on to an icon here, drag it up. Well, as you can see, this is very much a beta product. Um, not everything works perfectly all the time. Um, as you can see, it just force quit on me. But let's see if we can get it to work this time. All right, let's do it with Dolphin. Here we go. So, like I said, you can't make folders. If I try dragging and dropping over here, it's just going to replace the icon. So, for you customization fans, that could be a bit of a problem. Um, but say if you want to run this uh, launcher for a couple weeks, then hey, it's not a big deal. So, uh, I'll show you guys the last part of this app, which is the widgets. Now, I can long press to add any widget I want. So, let's add something like, uh, let's see, the Google Fit widget. Let's see what we got out of that. So now, unlike most launchers where you want to add widgets, you don't tap and hold, you just tap the um, app that you want to do. So let's tap to launch Google Fit. Uh, actually, no, I'm not, I do not want to get <laughs> Fit yet. I'm going to wait for that. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, download, I'll probably include a link to the app in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. Check out our Twitter and our website at masalatech.com. Remember to always keep things spicy.